Hello and welcome to our second installment of Behind the Window with Chef Stro. I'm your host, Chef Stro. We here at Hazen, we're so excited to see all your attempts at making Hazen cookies. They all looked absolutely phenomenal. Keep making them, keep sending us pictures, keep loving those cookies. Anyway, today we have a brand new recipe never before seen here at Camp Hazen YMCA, soft pretzels. So without further ado, let's roll that ingredient montage. You're going to need one cup of warm water, one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of kosher salt, two teaspoons of active dry yeast, three cups of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of liquid margarine, and two-thirds cup of baking soda. So, first things first, we're gonna mix our one cup of warm water, our one teaspoon of sugar, and our one teaspoon of kosher salt. You're gonna to wanna to grab yourself a small whisk and just whisk that together. Uh, if you don't have a small whisk at home, a fork will work, or you can just kind of swirl it with your fingers. Okay, once the sugar and kosher salt are dissolved, we're gonna come back with our active dry yeast. We're gonna sprinkle it on top and let it bubble and activate for about five minutes. All right, while we wait for this yeast to activate for five minutes, last time during this video, not this video, but the last video, I asked you guys, what was your favorite lunch? And astoundingly, most of you said chicken tenders and mac and cheese, which chicken tenders and mac and cheese, great meal, so versatile. You can, you can change it up however you want. There's so many sauces, so many different combinations. Mac and cheese and chicken tender day, options are limitless. But this time, I'd like to know what's your favorite dinner here at Camp Hazen? Comment down below. Now, let's check back in with our yeast. So now that our yeast is ready, you want to get 10 cups of water into a saucepan and put it on the stove and bring it to a boil. But I've already done that while we were doing our cutaways. Sorry, I didn't show you. Anyway. Our next step to add to this mixture is adding our flour and our liquid margarine. Uh, you can use liquid butter. We use liquid margarine again because it keeps it dairy free and it's better for our people that have uh, dairy allergies. That's our liquid margarine in. And now our flour. And you're just gonna use your hands and mix that together until it becomes like a nice smooth dough and it pulls away from the sides of the bowl. When you're doing this, it's important to not overwork the dough. So once you got it, it's beautiful, just like this. You wanna set it aside. Set aside your dirty bowls and grab a baking sheet. Sorry, and grab a baking sheet that's lined with parchment paper. As such. Okay, you're gonna take the dough, you're gonna put it in the center. Also, during that last step, if you if it if your dough is too wet, if your dough is too dry, you can add a pinch more water, pinch more flour, just to get it to this nice springy elastic consistency. But now that we have the dough on the tray, we're gonna split it into four different pieces. So just split it in half. And then in half again. We're about to make four pretzels, so. You wanna roll out the dough into 18 to 24 inches uh, ropes. Mm -hmm. 
Every year, Welchie and I go to a food service and maintenance conference in upstate New York at another YMCA camp called Camp Chinjacook. Love it, love the people up there. Y people are just the greatest. Uh, however, this recipe actually came from this year's conference, so we were excited to try it and bring it down to you and see how it goes. Okay, now we have each piece rolled out and it's, uh, they're all about the same length. They are exactly 21 inches, beautiful. Uh, now we have to shape them, which not my forte, but we're gonna do our best. So what you wanna do is you wanna make a U shape with your pretzel, cross the ends, and then fold it towards yourself. I have four attempts. I'm gonna do one now, and we're gonna do a close-up so you can follow right along, and we'll show you how to do it. Okay, so you wanna make a U shape. You wanna cross the ends, and, f oh God. Okay, yeah, and fold it right back down on itself. Okay, that's not bad. Um, but I would recommend putting a little twist in it and then folding it down. Uh, you wanna make sure these ends really adhere to the, to the bottom, because if they don't, they'll separate and become like octopus in the boiling water. So octopi, I don't know what the correct term for multiple octopi is. Anyway, so that's one done. Okay, so once your pretzels are done here, again, you just wanna make sure you really pinch those sides well and make sure the tails adhere to the bottom of the U because you don't want those things going all... It's a windy day here at Camp Hazel YMCA, you can, you can tell. Anyway, um, so now that these are all formed and they're beautiful, um, it's time to boil them. We're gonna get them into that 10 cups of boiling water but before these go in, we have to add our two thirds of baking soda. So we're gonna add the two thirds of baking soda to the boiling water, and then we're gonna boil each one of these for 30 seconds, and then get them back on this baking sheet. Now that these bad boys are all boiled, we wanna preheat our oven to 375 degrees. Okay, my oven's on, it's preheating to 375 degrees. Now, you can have two options here. You can brush these bad boys with egg yolk, or you can brush them with butter or liquid margarine. I am gonna brush them with liquid margarine again because, you know, some people are allergic to egg and this just keeps it a little bit more friendly. So we're just gonna brush them nicely. Be, uh, you can be generous with the margarine. It's gonna make them a nice golden brown. Okay, so once your margarine is, or egg, whatever you choose, whatever you choose to get at home, once it's all slathered up there, you can uh, pick your topping of choosing. Today, I'm gonna use just, you know, regular old salt because this is regular old pretzels. However, you can use Parmesan, you can use peppercorn, cinnamon, sugar, maybe even get a little wild with like a garlic rosemary spread. Whatever your heart desires on your pretzels, have at it. It's kind of like mac and cheese day where you can just mix and match all the different sauces. But you just want to pinch a little bit of salt and get it on there. You, get, um, I'm, you know, you do a little salt bay action, but I'm no salt bay. Um, no salt bay. Okay, we're all salted. We're egg washed slash margarine washed, whatever you chose at home. Uh, now we're just gonna stick these in the oven at 375 for 10 to 12 minutes. Let's go. So we're gonna come back to our oven. 
Wow, that was really loud. We're gonna slide those in. We're gonna close our oven and set our timer for 10 minutes. Remember, 375 degrees, let them do their thing. Wow, these look great. Uh, now that they're out of the oven, we're just gonna let them cool for about five minutes and then we can enjoy them. Okay, now that it's been five minutes, we're ready to try them. But just before we try them, we wanna know, is this something you'd like to see on a cabinet, uh, like along with cookie making? Or, I don't know, what are your thoughts? Share them down in the comments. Also, next time in our next video with Behind the Window, we're actually gonna come from behind the window and go out to a campsite and film pita pizza making where I'm gonna show you all the tips and tricks to make the perfect pita pizza. But without further ado, let's try one of these pretzels. Mmm, flaky. That's just delightful. Anyway, that's me in my kitchen. This has been Behind the Window with Chef Shiro. Till next time. <laughs>